Oh boy, crazy lady gonna try to take over the world. Is this the end? I'm, I'm thinking maybe there's probably a cutscene at the end of the, uh, the credits here, so I'm probably just gonna sit through these. But while they're going, I guess I could, um, give final thoughts of the game, stuff like that. Good game, overall. Enjoyed it. Probably took me, I don't know, 20 hours to beat, maybe? Probably less than that, if you're better than me, which most people probably are. I'm usually below average when it comes to games such as this. But yeah, good game overall. Um, another great addition to the series. Good story. I'm assuming if you've seen this far, you probably already saw the story, though. But, you know, you can still pick it up. Fun gameplay, stuff like that. Still plenty of to do after you beat the game. A little side missions, getting 100% on everything, stuff like that. So, replayability is pretty high, I guess. It has multiplayer. Haven't played that yet. But I assume it's very similar, if not the same, as the multiplayer in Brotherhood and um, Revelations. But yeah, overall, really enjoyed it. Definitely worth the 60 bucks for me. Um, then again, I'm a huge Assassin's Creed fan. Been playing it since the first one. But I'd still have to say that Assassin's Creed 2 is my favorite overall Assassin's Creed out of the entire series. If you haven't played that one, I definitely recommend uh, checking it out because I don't know why, but... And uh, I'm not alone on this, I've actually talked to a couple of my friends, and they all agree, Assassin's Creed 2 is just, in our opinion, the best one in the series. This is definitely a good one. Um, I don't really know what rank I would put it in the series, but yeah, I'd, I'd say Assassin's Creed 2 is definitely still the best. But this one's good nonetheless. Um, Connor, eh, he wasn't my favorite assassin. I still preferred um, Ezio over Connor. I might prefer Connor over Altair, just because they didn't really give Altair any characteristics really he was just kind of there you know you didn't really get any personality from him or anything he was just you know he was just kind of there he didn't really they didn't flush his character out at all really they did it more so in Assassin's Creed Revelations but still didn't do quite that much so I'd definitely say Connor's probably my second favorite character in the series when it comes to the assassins um, I wouldn't really put Desmond into that category but I guess Desmond's dead, so I'm not really sure where the series is going after this. I heard this is the last in the trilogy, but I assume they'll make more. I mean, I, I could be wrong about that. I don't know. I haven't um, haven't looked anything up, so for all I know, this could be the very last Assassin's Creed. I doubt it, though. I feel like you're probably going to continue with a different character who's not Desmond, um, so that'll be interesting to see. And yeah, that is basically the final thoughts on the game that I have at this point, waiting for these credits to get over. Um, I thank all of the people in these credits for making this game. Good game. Uh, good job, all of you, even though you probably will never see this. But yep, I'm just going to wait for these credits to get over and running out of things to talk about. Yep. Ian Macbeth. That was a cool, cool person, man, woman thing. I'm guessing man, Ian, seems like a guy's name, but then again, I don't know. Holy crap, how many people worked on this game? Are we getting close to the end here? Design, usually at the end it'll go through all the companies that were a part of this, such as Ubisoft, Montreal, stuff like that. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. If you happen to be watching this and you haven't watched any of my other videos um, feel free to check them out I'm currently doing a Halo 4 walkthrough a Dishonored walkthrough which is actually done but not uploaded fully yet still working on that and many others you know you can go to my channel I've done a various amount in the past Skyrim Dawn Guard um, Pokemon I haven't finished that one but I've just been distracted from other games so I apologize for that if you happen to be a follower of that series I'll get back to it eventually. Um, right now, there are just more important games that I'd rather be playing, considering I've already beaten Pokemon. Um, Donkey Kong, definitely check out my Donkey Kong thing, Donkey Kong Country uh, playthrough, because, uh, you know, one of my favorite games of all time, and it would be really cool if you'd go watch that. Even if you don't like Donkey Kong, never seen Donkey Kong, you know, it's a cool game, good experience. Um, I thought I did a pretty good job on that playthrough, so... You know, I've done like three of those, but my recent one I think is probably my best one, and entertainment-wise. So yeah, go check that out if you want to. I'm trying to think of other games that I've played through. Da 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 da. Um, Borderlands 2, doing co-op of that. That's pretty fun. DayZ, Minecraft, done some Minecraft stuff. Gonna get back to that eventually. 
Um, what else did I do? I've done some other things that are just slipping my mind. Killing Floor, Limbo, Rage Quit Limbo. Might go back to that sometime after all these new games come out. And I uh, go ahead and cover those. Might go back to Limbo. That game kind of aggravated me, and I really don't have much motivation to play it anymore. But we'll see. Um, can't be that long. I heard it was a pretty short game, so I'm probably almost done with it. So I might as well just push through and complete it. Because I don't really like having incomplete series. Um, quite annoying. And I'm sure the viewers don't like to have an incomplete series either. Especially if they start watching it and get involved, and then all of a sudden it just ends. So yeah, I apologize for that, but I reserve the right to quit any series at any time. Just because some games I get bored of, some games I don't enjoy, and I'm not going to you know, sit through a game that I don't enjoy. Some games aggravate me to the point where I don't want to play them. Um, you know, I get aggravated quite easy in video games, but there's not much I can do about that. I usually, if it's a good enough game, I'll look past that. Kind of like with this game. This game aggravated me at times, but that's to be expected, and uh, it was still really fun either way. So, yep. That is uh, final thoughts. Oh my god, how many people work on this game? That is a lot of names. A lot of names. Why do some of those have stars next to them? Da -da -da -da. I don't really know where the series is going now. Kind of confused. I imagine you're going to be someone else and try to stop Minerva or whatever her name was from... Or Juno, I guess. Minerva was the other lady. Juno from taking over the world, stuff like that. But I don't really know. Not sure, and I'm not sure if you're going to go into the Animus anymore and go back in time. I hope so, because I really like that. It'd be sad to see that go. They could do like a Wild West Assassin's Creed. That would be kind of cool. Red Dead Redemption status. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Don't know. Hard to tell at this point. Benedict Oiment? I don't really know how you say that name or any of these names. Most of them are looking kind of foreign to me, so... Except for Mark Gagnon and Gene Miller. Yeah. How many names are possible? I might just, I don't know. I could just sit through this and then cut out. Oh, hey, we get to see the actors here. Noah Watts was Connor. That's interesting. Those names went by too fast for me to see. Look at all those guys. That dude's last name is Kant. That, that would be uh, unfortunate. Let's see. Hurry up! Come on! Is there like a fast forward button? I would like try to spam like a skipping button, but I'm afraid if I try to skip the credits, I'll in turn skip the cutscene after the credits, if there is one. If not, then I apologize for wasting your time thus far, and I might just edit it out if there happens to not be a cutscene. So there is a possible chance that you will not ever hear this right now. And, um, you know, whatever, for better or worse, I guess. I didn't really say anything important. That needs to be heard, so not too big of a deal there. Voice talents, Japanese. I don't remember. What? We didn't have Japanese voices in this game. Unless maybe you could turn the voices to Japanese. I don't know. That'd be kind of weird if you could do that. Creative director. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Come on. Didn't we already do this part? Didn't we already go through the art directors and stuff? I could have swore I saw that before. Could have swore that I did. But who knows, maybe I didn't. Lead 2D, Artist 2D, blah blah blah. Man, these credits are long. Credits are just getting longer and longer. I hate how they hide cutscenes after the credits. It's a cheeky way of getting you to pay attention to the people that actually made the game. And I hate even worse how some games do it and others don't. I think it should have to be universal. I think all games should have to either have a cutscene after the credits or have no cutscene after the credits. Because then... You have these things where you watch the credits in hopes of a cutscene and then there aren't one, which is a very possible option of what's going to happen here. I hope there's a cutscene, because I've been sitting through this talking for like five minutes now. I don't even know how... This might be an episode in its own, just called episode freaking last part. I don't even know how many episodes there's going to be. I'm going to guess like 40 maybe. If I had to assume, I would say 40. But yeah, it's going to be like episode blah blah blah, the credits after the in-game episode. <clears throat> which will be stupid, but these freaking credits are long. This has literally been going on for at least like five minutes now. I know that. Oh, audio chief, sound masters, blah, blah, blah. I should probably just edit this part out. I don't know. I might just fast forward the credits, something like that. Who knows? I'm not sure how many people find me talking over a title screen of 
names scrolling in an upward position to be enjoyable. Um, I, would sh I, would, I would assume not many people enjoy that, but you know, maybe there are some people out there who just love seeing words scroll upwards. Maybe they just watch Star Wars just for the beginning intro where the words are just scrolling upwards. And they just watch that all the time. I don't know. Maybe that's that. Maybe that's a thing out in the world. The upward scrolling letter people. I don't know. I'm sounding retarded now. Translations and adaptation. Let's just skip over that conversation completely and just change the subject up. Traditional Chinese version by Ubisoft Limited. Titus O or something like that. Alright, I'm butchering these names. I would like to apologize to anyone working on this game. If you happen to be watching this for any chance or reason, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be. But who knows? It's a it's a crazy world out there. I would like to apologize if I butchered your name during this video. Um, yeah. You need little pronunciation things by them for some of these names. Because they are quite hard to say. Or at least quite hard for me to figure out how to say. Maybe if someone had said them and I'd heard it be said or pronounced, then maybe, just maybe, I would actually know. Sebastian Hintze, or Heinze? Heinze, maybe? I don't know. Once again, I'm just going to stop reading names because I keep butchering them. Build DB, Tools Programmer, Technology Group, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god. I wonder how many names are actually in this, this credit roll here. I would assume like a thousand plus, if I had to guess, because there is just a crap ton. Probably, probably more like 2,000 or something. Probably something ridiculous. I don't even know. How many people does it take to make a video game nowadays? Jeez. I'll give them credit. It's a great game. They definitely did a good job, especially with the graphics. It's weird how Assassin's Creed graphics really haven't changed too much since the first one, and yet it is still one of the best games graphically. Um, it's just amazing. I mean, Ubisoft, mad props to you for releasing Assassin's Creed in, like, what, 2006? And it having still today some of the best graphics ever. That's just a that's a huge feature right there. That is definitely an accomplishment. So congrats, hats off to you, Ubisoft. You figured out the graphics game early. That you did. Corey McMacken. <laughs> that's a cool last name, McMacken. That dude's a boss. Come on. Ran out of water. Been talking nonstop. This is just crazy. There needs to be a fast forward button. That's official. That needs to happen. Someone make that happen, please. I'll thank you. I will be ever so grateful. I'd like to go play Halo 4 at some point. Hello. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's actually the plan is to go play some Halo 4 after recording this, so... We'll see how that goes. I haven't really touched too much of the campaign of that yet. Even though by the time you're watching this, I'd probably already beaten it and uploaded most of it. Because it probably won't be that long compared to this game. I'm guessing Halo will be like 20 episodes. And this is going to be like 40 or something. Dun dun dun. Unless I decide to do like a super long episode. Which people have actually been asking for super long episodes of various games. And I would love to do that, but my internet sucks. Like, it is terrible. I have like a .6 upload and it takes two to three hours to upload a 15 minute video so if I was to do like an hour long special that would literally take me all day to upload and I kind of like using my internet for other things other than uploading because once I'm uploading a video I cannot use the internet it's just dead it is just not working at all which is unfortunate and oh my god I'm pretty sure these credits have been going on for like 15 minutes now so this might be a long episode because I don't really want to cut this into its own episode I don't know, I'll probably skip the credits or fast forward them or do some kind of little fade out thing. And I keep saying that, and then whenever I don't do it, everyone's going to be like, oh, you said it like 600 times, yet you were too lazy to do it. But, you know, sometimes I forget, even though this is pretty fresh, so I probably will remember. I hope I remember. If I do forget, I apologize. But, you know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Oh my god, come on. Alright, we're getting into the teams now. I think this is good. This might be towards the end. Are we wrapping up the credits? Come on. Yep, we got to the publisher. This is looking good. We're at the home stretch now. Come on. Only a little more to go. UBI IP director. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. 
Almost there, I think. I don't know. They need like a little progress bar down at the bottom that tells you how far away from the end you are. That would be nice. That would be lovely. Oh, come on. Benjamin Haddad. That guy's the line producer. In case you didn't know that, just educating you a little bit about the game. Who made it? Yep, I know all there is to know. Come on! Oh! Integration manager. Don't know how to say your name, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, wah, 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 wah. Yon, yon, yon. Oh my goodness. I'm going... I feel older. I feel older from the time this started to now. Pretty sure I've grown facial hair in between. In between the beginning and the end of these credits, I'll probably have a full-grown beard. And that's saying something, considering I can't even grow facial hair. And uh, I don't know if that's good or bad. It's bad, actually. I want a beard. <laughs> but I'm definitely growing some facial hair throughout this. This is so long. I'm feeling it. It's coming in nice. Full-fledged beard. I look like Dumbledore or something right now. Or Gandalf. They had pretty big beards. Pretty long beards. You shall not pass. I'm just rambling now. I'm sorry. It is just... I don't know what else to do. So I'm just going to continue on with this nonsensical talk of nothing about Ben White. Ha! Ben White. I like you, Ben White. You have an easy to pronounce name. And I appreciate that. I'm just going to throw that out there. Tim Cummins, you have another easy stone chin. Stone chin? That guy should be a fighter. He should be a wrestler or something. If he has a stone chin, he can beat up people. That could be like his own nickname. His name could be his nickname. Stone, stone chin, chin. That would be his nickname. Ben Swanson. I wonder if he's related to Joe Swanson. <laughs> Come on. Credits. Let's -a go. Come on, credits, come on. Special thanks. Oh, we're getting to the special thanks. This is good. Every credits I've ever seen, special thanks has always been near the bottom. So that is a plus. Oh, thanks and special thanks. You're really going to divide that into two different separate things. Well, how do you think these people who you're thanking feel now that they know they didn't get a special thanks? They're not cool enough for a special thanks, only a regular thanks. How do you think they feel about that? That's probably insulting. Ubisoft, why'd you do that? Chin Wee Lee. That's a cool name. I like that guy. Caesar. Okay, come on now. Come on, we're getting somewhere, I think. Production babies? Were those people born during the time of production or something? Oh, buddy. Yes. Yes. We're getting to the logos. Victory! Image credits, really? You're gonna. Oh god. Okay, continue. Come on, scrolly scroll. Let's go. Let's roll up. Auto disc. Look at all this advertisement they're getting. Look at it. Bam, I should be getting paid for that advertising. But I guess it is their game, so. You know, what is. Warning, it is a. Uh, whoa, I was reading that. Oh! 